good evening, good evening, have one time today. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Sermon Jazz Spirit Survivor. I need to give you a um, word on today. And we're in the book of Job. We're in the book of Job. You know, we're going to start from the beginning to Eve all the way to Job. And you know, a lot of time we all can sing. We feel like Job sometimes. You know, so we're, we're going to start from the first. Now, the first chapter going to be his first test. You know, so this Joe life in his first test, Joe is portrayed as a wealthy man, you know, of upright, you know, character that he loved God, but yet God allowed Satan to destroy his possession, you know, his children, his health. But we will see that Joe will refuse to give up on God. You know, he refused to give up on God, you know, no matter what the devil do to him. You know, he's still going to praise God. You know, so even though he does not understand, and a lot of us, we don't understand when we're in our trial. You know, and sometimes you go through tough trials like Joe, and you don't understand. And you ask the question, why? Why is this happening? You know, so he don't understand, you know, why this happened, you know, to him. But Joe will show us how he trusts God in the mix of it. You know, he going he gonna to show us how he trusts God because he's he the only one in the Bible that I know went through this kind of trial, but he still trusted God. You know, we, we, we wrote the, we, we, we all heard the story of how Abraham trusts God. We have not went through what Joe went through. You know, just a, just a man that went through something and he still loved the God, you know. So he trusts God in the mix of his difficult time. You know that he had to face you know so um this is your first test you know so he in a land and then live a man who named his joe you know that this man was blameless all right you know he feared god and he did no evil you know so he had seven sons and he had three daughters now it's showing us that joe is a wealthy man now he was the greatest man man among all the people of the east and he will also had a large number of servants you know so he was rich you know god was taking care of him god also had a, a, a hedge around him in his whole family you know and he was just living it up you know living a living a normal life you know but joe and his family live a normal life had regular custom day and day by day you know, every day, and nobody bothered them, you know, until the until Satan come along. You know, Satan come along, you shake up everything. You know, turn turn your life upside down. You know, so now what Joe is about to change. Joe life, Joe life is about to change. Now his life's about to change. Then about to turn upside down. You know, so now one day the angels had came to uh to the presence of themselves. Before the Lord, and he goes Satan, find along with him. You know, Satan, find along with them. You know, so the Lord has said to Satan, you know, where did you come from? Now God said, where did you come from? God already know, but God wanted to hear what he got to say. Where did you come from? Where have you come from? So Satan answered. He answered the Lord, you know, from roaming throughout the earth, going backwards and forwards. You know, and that's his job. You know, he be on this earth, you know, going backwards and forth, backwards and forth, you know, trying to find out who he going to get next, you know, and he always going to get God right to speak. But he's not going to get somebody that's already sitting and out there doing all kind of stuff. He's going to mess with the one that praising God, you know, um, being faithful to God. That's the ones he's going to mess with, you know. So this is what the devil do. Just roaming around, you know, see to who life he can destroy and turn it upside down. You know, so when he do, he just go to the next one. See, once he this this like this the same thing he did with Eve. You know, once he had Eve to eat that fruit, you know, and he saw the damages that he hadn't done. See, he's gonna watch. You know, after he done tried to make a mess of your life, he's gonna watch and see if your life gonna be a mess. And when he say your life is a mess, then this Satan gonna go down by his bed. You know, he don't watch Eve ate that apple. 
God fussing at her. Why you did this and then that? And after he saw what destruction that he done done, then Satan going on by his business, and he wait for the next one. And that's the same thing he gonna do with Jim. But see, this here gonna be a different case. You know, he gonna have to keep on testing on um, Jim. You know, because Jim is a righteous man that love God. You know, he Jim gonna make Satan mad. You know, cause the devil gonna do all kind of stuff. You know, he done mess with the wrong one because Joe gonna keep on standing his ground. You know, so Satan don't like when people praise God because Satan want us to buy down to him. Remember, he he wanted Jesus to buy down. He told Jesus to climb up here. You know, I give you all this. All you got to do is just start buying down to me. You know, Jesus look at him like, no, no, Satan, you get behind me. That's what Jesus told. Him. You get behind me. You know, ain't nobody going to bow down to the devil. Nobody but the devil. You know, so no. That will never happen. You know, Joe ain't never going to give Satan that opportunity. You know, so now the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Joe? You know, because see, God already know who is this righteous person. He already know, you know, there are many righteous persons. You know, but God know the ones that no matter what, you know, they will not curse God or just, I'm done with you. And, and that's it. He knows Joe is not like that. You know, so he considered Joe. You know, he considered my servant Joe. Now, there is no one on earth like him. You know, and he is a blameless, upright, a man who fear God and do no evil. You know, so Satan replied, does Joe fear God for nothing? You know, help you not put a hash around him. See, Satan already know. Now, God didn't say I put a hash around him. Satan already knew that God have a hash on certain, certain on ones of his people. You know, he said, how can I do anything? You know, don't you got a hash around Joe and his whole family? You know, so you got a hash around him and his whole household and everything he has. Now, you have blessed the work of his hands. You know, his flocks and his herds are spread throughout the land. See, he know, he know Joe is being provided for by God, you know. But now, you know, stretch out your hand and strike everything that he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. You know, so he, he talking about he going to strike everything that Joe has. And he said, Joe, immediately going to, going to curse God. You know, so the Lord said to Satan, you know, very well, very well. Um, and then everything that he has is in your power. So God put everything in Satan's power, you know, put everything in his power. But on the man himself, now he didn't put everything, you know, he put certain things in Satan's hand. But he said here, on the man himself, you know, do not let a finger. And you could do whatever you want to do, but don't let a finger on this on this um servant right here. Do not let a finger on him. You know you got the power to do anything else, but God says spare his life. So then Satan had went out from the um presence of the Lord to go do his evil duties. You know, so Satan, Satan's job is to see that Job cursed God. And we see that Satan know that God had a hedge around him. Because he's the one that brought it up. You know, from, from a hedge around Joe and his whole household. You know, but we also will see that God have confidence in Joe. We see God talk highly of Joe. You know, God have confidence in Joe. Knowing that Joe would not curse him. You know, no matter what the devil would do, Joe would not curse God. You know, we're going to see how strong, you know, Joe faith is. You know, we're going we gonna to do like Joe. You know, we're going we gonna to take notes from Joe. You know, Joe is the only one that's in the Bible. Went through this kind of pain and suffering. And he still praised God. You know, so the book of Joe shows a good man suffering. But no apparent reason. And that's suffering. We do pain and suffering, and we be wondering why. You know, all the out of the blue, you know, Joe just start every just start losing everything. You know, 
and sometimes you go through something all out of the blue and you don't even know why. You know, this man gone through so much pain. And I know a lot of us can feel Joe pain. You know, went through something and we had to ask ourselves why. Why is we going to this cell? You know, and he going through it for no apparent reason. You know, of his own. You know, but Joe's story does not end in despair. It does not end in despair. So we gonna, we gonna talk about the whole book of Joe. You know, so through Joe's life, we can see that faith in God is the most important thing. You know, sometimes I faith way and they're not supposed to do that. See how Joe... Joe have a fully faith in God. He have fully trust in God. And see, when God see you got faith and you got trust, you know, and he see, he gonna let you go, go a long time, sometime. You know, but he trying to see how much you love him. You know, how much pain that you will take before you curse him, before you throw in the towel. You know, we gonna see that Joe is the only one in his Bible went through his trials the way God want us to go through. You know, so the life that we can see that faith in God is justified, even when our situation look hopeless. We will see that Job will have an unshakable faith. You have an unshakable faith because this man here, you know, this man going through something and he ain't even did nothing. He ain't even did nothing to go through this. Thing. You know, most people, Myself and I and a lot of other people, you're you going to go through something, you know, but you're going to complain sometimes because you're going to be asking questions of, of what happened. Why? You know, Joe may ask a question, I think, one time, and that's it. He's going to go through that pain and suffering, you know, and still love God at the same time. He's going to still do his routine, you know, his his prayer, what he do for morning and night, he's going to still do his uh, normally prayer. You know, he's he going to have an unshakable faith. Unshakable faith. You must be built on confidence, you know, that God's ultimate purpose will come to pass. And that's what I'm constantly be holding on. You know, especially when God make a promise and God have a purpose. You know, sometimes you got you got to have the unshakable faith. You know, because the way, you know, the way your life is, and a lot of time I be feeling like I'm in Joe's shoes, you know, the way it looks, you got to have an unshakable faith. And you got to still love God in the mix of this unshakable faith. You know? And uh, and that's the time you got to constantly still pray. I don't care how mad you are. How mad you are. We, you still got to pray to God to get through it. Because you told God on the side while you in the mix of your prayer. We're going to rescue you. We're going to rescue you. There's nobody but God is to rescue you when you in that mix of that, that, that trial. You know, so God gives the orders to say. You know, see a lot of time we think things just coincidence just happen. You know, Joe thought it was just coincidence that this has happened. You know, all out of the blue, living living a normal life. But a lot of time Satan had to get permission from God. God on everything. You know, we see that God placed this order to test your faith. You know, God could have told Satan no. You know, Satan looking around, trying to find someone he, he going to test. Only God chosen, I mean, only God faithful, all righteous that he looking for. And see, God know who to pick. You know, we see that God has so much confidence in Job. You know, no, no matter what you do, I'm, Joe is a righteous man, and I know he will not curse him, you know, and so God had so much confidence in Joe, you know, and so we're going to see, we're going to learn from Joe, how Joe went through his trials, you know, so God gave her orders to say, you know, but God said, do not lay a finger on him, now see, you see, God have to, you see, Satan have to get permission from God. You know, to do a whole lot of things. You know, and we be hollering about where is God, where is God. God be the one to give the order. Because a lot of time in your trial, you are being tested. In Abraham's trial, he was being tested. You know, you be tested many times in your trials. 
you know, God will allow Satan to do so much and he will stop. Just like he told him, you can do this and that, but don't lay a finger on him. And see, God going to watch you through your child. Because God, see, Satan got to get permission from God. And when Satan is doing what God had told him not to do, see, God is right there watching. You know, and he will stop Satan to do anything that God did not order him to do. You know, because God did not order him to put his hands on Job. He said, do not lay a finger on him. You know, and God going to watch and make sure Satan don't put a finger on Job. You know, so now Joe's life is about to turn upside down. You know, that Joe's son and daughters, you know, they were fast, you know, fasting and drinking and wine and, 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 and the oldest brother house. They're by the oldest brother house. You know, I mentioned the head came to Joe and said, and, and said the sun beam had attacked and made off and took off with them. And they had put the servant to the sword. Only one was able to escape to tell Joe. Now, see, the devil can always leave one alive. You know, to go back and tell Job what's going on. You know, and so while they still is, is speaking, why they still speaking? See, the, the devil is in. He's in, he's in the works. You know, why they still speaking? You know, fire of God had 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 fell. You know, from heaven and burned up the sheep and and, and the servant and all the one escaped to tell Job. You know, so that's all his wealth. You know, oh, you know, my his sheep, his flocks, and all that. You know, all that got all burnt up. You know, got burnt up. You know, so that's the first thing got all burnt up. His sheets and stuff. You know, he had plenty of death. So why still speaking? Still speaking. Stuff still happened. You know, his son, his daughter, you know, was, was fashioning and drinking. Why? Maybe they bought the oldest brother house. You know, and a, a mighty wind had swept in from the desert and struck the four corners of the house. You know, so then that, that collapsed. On them, and they they all dead. Only one escape to tell Joe. They all gonna have one escape to tell Joe. Now you got all his animals and sheep and flocks, all that got burnt. Up. You know, now you got now you got his sons and his his daughters. You know, by the oldest brother house. You know, and the, all that hit the house. You know, all that co collapsed, and they did. So Joe got up, tore his robe. You know, shaved his head. You, you know, and then he fell to the ground in worship. You know, anybody else. You know, that's why we learn it from Joe. We learn it from Joe. You know, anybody else, you know, lost all your, your flock. That was his money right there. The flocks and sheep and, and all this kind of stuff. You know, lost all that got burnt up. You know, and then his children, the house collapsed on top of him. You, you know, so that was, that was a mad thing right there when you lose your children. You know, and, and anybody else. Lose their money wise and, and, and their children. They'll be screaming and hollering, you know, making all kind of accusations, but not Joe. See, we learn it from Joe. Not Joe. You know, Joe. Joe tore his robe off and he fell down to the ground. And what he did, he worshiped God. You know, he worshiped God. Now, all this stuff that happened to him, the house and the collapse on his children. You know, he done lost all his flocks and everything. You think, you know, you, he ripping off his rope. You think he's going to be hooping and hollering. But he bowed down. He bowed down to the ground to worship God. You know, because that's the only one we can call on that can deal with Satan. You know, he knows Satan is involved. You know, and sometimes and he don't understand. But he know God is around somewhere. You know. He know God had a shield around him for a long time, but not all this has happened. He know he have a shield, you know, and all this has happened now, you know. So he buy down. He about to communicate with God, like what's going on, you know. He know Satan doing all this here, but where you at, God? You know, you been my shield for a long time. What happened to my shield? What what happened? You know, so he confused don't know what's going on, and the only person that you can talk to. In the mix of all this here, it's God. And we see that's what Joe did. You know, so we learn it from Joe. Because see, Joe was the only perfect one in the Bible that deal with his trials in this kind of manner. With the way we supposed to deal with it also. You know, so Joe lost everything. 
he lost everything. He lost his sons, his daughter, his flock, some of his servants. You know, so now Joe don't understand. We we don't understand. You know, all out of the blue. You know, if you haven't done nothing, you know, and then all out of the blue, chaos is just going on. You 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 trying to figure out what's going on. You know, so his daughter, his sons, you know, all his wealth, all that is gone. And now Joe don't understand what's going on and why, but Joe, uh, Joe speaks to God, you know. He, and so he, he speaks to God. Remember he bowed down, you know, and this is what he said to God. He said, naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked I would depart. You know, the law give, and the law had taken you know, taken away and made a name of the Lord had taken away, made a name of the Lord be praised. Now, we see here, he's not mad with God. You know, only thing he's saying, you know, I came out of my mother's womb naked. You know, I'm going back naked. You know, you gave me the children, but I see you took it back. You know, but what I'm going to do to you, God, I'm still going to punish you. I'm still going to praise you. You know, he's still praising God. So in all this, you know, Joe did not sin, you know, by charging, you know, by charging God with wrong done. So he did not charge God with wrong done. And at the same time, he did not sin. And sometimes when you have not done anything, you know, and all this stuff has happened, you, you know, so he still, he said he did not sin. He said he did not charge God for none of this stuff. You know, we, he already know this is God doing. Not God. This is Satan doing all by himself. You know, and sometimes, and sometimes you go through something. And the first thing people are saying, oh, she got karma coming to her. You know, oh, she, she, she must have had done something. You know, Joe gone through all this stuff. You have not done nothing. You know, and a lot of time when you go through trial, it's don't nine out of ten, it don't mean you did something. It's nine out of ten. Sometimes God is testing your faith. You know, God is testing your faith. You say you love, you say you love me. God say you say you love me. You say you this and that, you righteous and all this. Okay, God ain't gonna let you know when he puts you to the test. You know, when Satan come to him, you, you know. And, and wants to do this and that. See, Satan already know who got the shield over what. You know, and so, and so Joe know he have not sinned. He have not done nothing wrong. At the same time, he did not charge God with anything because he already know it's the devil doing. But he's still trying to figure out, okay, and God, you know, where you at? You know, we normally have a share, a share. We normally be under your umbrella, okay? So where you at? You know. So and so we see that Joe lost everything, and he don't understand, you know. But he still praised God, you know. He still praised God, and now we see why God have so much confidence in Joe, you know. So now we see. We see why God has so much confidence in Job. Because no matter what the devil keep on trying to come against him with, what did he do? He bowed down and he praised God. He praised God because he know it's the devil doing. You know, if you know you ain't do nothing. You know, and sometimes we're not going to do our trials the way Job do it. The way Job does it, that's the way we're supposed to work. A lot of the time our faith wave and a lot of the time we, we get anxiety and we, we, we don't understand and we just going through stuff. So that's why we all going to learn how to go through our trials the way Joe did. You know, so Joe, now we see why God has so much confidence in Joe. You know, so Joe was a model, you know, of trust and obedience to God. You know, but yet God permits Satan. You know to attack him in a special harsh manner although god love us you know believing and obeying him do not shelter us from the light trouble you know and we see you know and you'll think you're a christian you'll you'll think you are you know a, a righteous person 
But we, the man was, go through the pain and the suffering. Joe probably never thought it was going to hit him like that. You know, a lot of times, we think we shit. You know, but just like they say here, you know, it does, uh, it does not shelter us from trials. And remember Peter said that, that back in the, um, in the New Testament. And Peter said, you've got to go through the trial. You've got to go through the hard time. You know, and see in the Old Testament, you know, God has spoke, the uh, only person God spoke to about um, Jesus it was um, Abraham. You know, God knew he was about to bring Jesus on. You see what I'm saying? So he, God already, he wrote the script out for Jesus. He didn't know, you know, Jesus was going to have to go through this pain and stuff. You know, but just because God loves us and you're a righteous person, sometimes God do not save us from our trials. He will save us from some of them, like he told Satan, do not lay a finger on him. But in the same time, God going to allow us to go through the trial because he know his son had to come here and suffer so much pain. So much pain and suffering. You know, and so... Job never had to experience this kind of stuff before, you know, but now he had to experience and he just looking around like, okay, you know, I'm going through all this stuff, you know, so time the friends come, they ain't even going to recognize me, you know, so, um, setback, tragedy, you know, sorrow, you know, uh, strike Christmas and non, uh, Christian and non Christian, you know, but in our text, in our trials, you know, God expects us to express our faith to the world. You know, and see, Joe expresses to the world because he's he been written down and rereading it right now. You know, he is a man with faith. I'm a woman with faith, but I'm not going through like Joe did. You can't go, you can't complain. You know, your faith can't wave. You know, I'm holding on and going through it going through it, but I'm not going through the way Joe did, you know, so we all learn, you know, you're not to not to mumble, uh, you can't have a weary faith, you know, and in the mix of all that pain and suffering that Joe had to go through, we see that he still bowed down and praise God, you know, so after we finish the book of, uh, on Joe, I'm going to do the lesson on all Joe uh, books. You know, so we can learn, you know, how to get through our trials and still love God and praise God, you know, in the mix of it, you know. So, but in our tests and trials, God expects us to express our faith to the world. Joe still praise God in the mix of his confusion, in the mix that he don't understand. You know, so that's just part one, a part of, of his test. You know, I'm going to do chapter two probably later on or either tomorrow. You know, we're going to do all the books of um, Joe. And we're going to pay attention and we're going to learn a lesson from Joe on how, you know, how he got through it, what he did, how he did it, you know. And we're going to take notes from Joe, you know, because Joe is a man that went to went to I don't think we all went to you know he don't say everything back to back why he's still talking this situation happened why he's still talking with them another situation happened you know and you think when he ripped his shirt up you think he would have screamed and hollered you know but no he ripped that shirt off and he bowed down on his knees and he started praying and connecting with God because he know you know that's the only one that can stop this madness, you know. He know it's Satan doing, but he know the only person that can stop this madness is God. So no matter how mad we get, no matter what we go to, how it look in your madness, in your trials, your 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 deep sympathy or whatever it is, you still got the love and praise God. He the only one can get you out because. And you toss him on the side, and you in the mix of dealing with Satan, you know, then that's it for you. That's it for you. You know, so that's all That's all the word I have for you on today. You know, it, I love Joe, but at the same time, it's heartbreaking. You know, because I know I'm in that mix of that trial right now, feeling like Joe. 
I know a lot of us, you know, feeling like you, and, you know, and this a man here, it all going to work out at the end. You know, so y'all have a blessed safe day, and I'll see y'all on the next video.